In tournament angling, we're only allowed so much time. And what mega imaging has done for me, it's eliminated a lot of water that may not have fish in it. So I know that I'm fishing productive water. I grew up fishing streams and ponds. Uh, I competed all through high school in sports. So I picked up tournament fishing and I've been stuck ever since. I was one of the first guys in the Ozarks to have side imaging and it got noticed real quick. It really elevated my game. And trying to have that edge and stay ahead of everybody is what we're all after. And now that the mega imaging has came out, we can actually scan a little further, a little clearer. It will show not only a rough looking patch, but I can actually see the indentions and fish setting in those indentions. Mega imaging lets me know that I'm fishing productive water. Instead of just going down a bank like a lot of guys do, I'm able to go down that bank and scan and I don't stop until I see activity. And not just activity, until I see bass. I can remember five years ago, some of my peers that I looked up to were saying, you don't need all that stuff to catch a fish. And now I'm spending a day on the water with them with their new electronics. And it doesn't take very long to see when you can just push one, two or three buttons and that's all you have to push to get the image you're looking for. Technology has come a long way and it's made my life a lot easier. I actually truly believe that the hummingbird is another set of eyes in the boat. It's constantly looking. I'm able to see exactly where that target is and every cast I am throwing to that target. Every one of my casts are productive casts now. You can take it to the bank. What it shows is down there, that's what's down there. It's not a, maybe this is a rock, maybe this is a fish. When you graph it and see it, that's what it is. I do a lot of homework off the water. I do like to see where the bends are in the lake. I'm able to knock down 90% of the lake that I will not fish because it doesn't have that turn in it. You know, probably next for me in my career is stepping it up a notch. I feel like uh, I can be competitive at a higher level, especially with the equipment that I have on my boat. Everybody has a sacrifice when you go from a weekend angler to a regional chaser. You know, I've been really successful on the water because of what I have at home as a family life. They, they allow me to, to go out and chase my dream. And, I started out in small tournaments. It's evolved now to fishing FLW stuff, BFLs, Costas. I also stay in the Ozarks, travel four or five lakes. What keeps me going on it is the challenge. I'm still an average Joe fisherman. I work five days a week. I get the shakes when I catch a big one. There's nothing better to me than to go out and search for the fish that you're after and be able to see them on the graph as you go over them and then trying to tie your fishing skill in with that as you turn around, drop the trail motor and try to get him to bite. That graph will never lie to you. It'll show you if the fish are there, but it's up to you to put them in the boat.